Monday, June 24th, build is very much underway. Tons of changes, walls coming down, electrics being sorted. I mean, the, just literally week on week, like coming to see the differences here is nuts. So it used to be like it was a um, computer data facility. So when the, like some of the stuff that's all up in the rafters, miles and miles of data cables. Literally just all local network cables and there's, I dread to think how many miles worth of cables in this place. An absolute ton going on. Um, yeah, some great progress being made and it's really exciting to see this place. I say coming together, it is literal pond site at the moment, but yeah, I mean the potential of this place is, is going to be absolutely insane. Yeah, eight, eight. So we're three, three, three weeks. Hello everyone, we were here three weeks ago and as you can see we are now uh, starting to take shape in terms of the early entry into the building. We've got our shop front here built, the walls have gone up, we have the access to upstairs so we move in here you'll have a nice reception area to greet you and then we proceed into the shop. So we've now moved from the shop area into the central corridor area of the building so from here you're going to split off into the different areas where it's the changing rooms, a restaurant, a canteen relaxation area and then obviously into the gym. So you're coming in through the shop, pass through the entry and then we come down here and you're greeted with a nice changing area. So you've got both a male and a female changing area. Roughly holds maybe 40 people to start. We'll have showers, uh, washing facilities, bathroom, the female changing area. So this is a little deceptive when you actually come in it's a nice, it's a bit dark now, but it's a nice big open area, similar to the male's changing room. So again, a little more privacy in terms of the walkway in. And if we head down back into the corridor. You'll have a quick entry out into the gym area, but more so access to the frozen room, which we've seen before. So obviously now, the wall has been taken down and we're looking out nicely onto the gym floor from here. Pretty much the same open plan that we had before and this wall that I tapped before is now gone. Um, we'll come back to the gym in a minute. We'll finish off with the restaurant area or our, I guess, community hub. So. Nice big open area, plan here is to have a coffee, juice bar, a working stations, just a nice community aspect to allow people to network, do their online check-ins if their coach is coming to train in the gym. Um, hopefully at some point offer a meal prep service so you can come and collect your meals or have your meals catered for whether that's personal trainers working within the gym or private trainers as well. And then we'll have our staff entry up the stairs to actually SNHQ, so our head offices. So we'll, we'll take a walk back out along the corridor and out into the main gym area. So it's looking a lot different to how it was three weeks ago. We've now knocked down the far wall, so that's where our Dumbbell area is going to extend out to. The fall ceiling has been removed, so you've now this open plan. You can hear the echo of my voice, so how open and deep the ceiling is. We've knocked down fully this whole brick wall into this second area of the gym. So down here, will basically be, when it comes to life, a, uh, a nice supplement needs AstroTurf or the SN black carpet that will run all the way down from the back entrance there, merge the exit to the front. Area here we've got planned for our cable crossover, squat racks, row machines, and then all your sort of leg single piece equipment here. Behind me will be the Smith machine with all the pressing machines in this area. And then obviously a full 
something needs dumbbell rack there. So a very different perspective to how it was three weeks ago, all the walls now knocked down and this sort of vision of what we had for in here becoming a gym slowly starting to take shape. So uh, we're up on the second floor and obviously in here we, we seen before there was the frosted glass office where the recovery room's going in. And now we are effectively out into the SN Education seminar area as well as an open space for us to deliver fitness classes alongside the gym. We have the boardroom offices there for my office in Lee's. And I guess now you're starting to see obviously the expansiveness of up here probably can hold maybe 50, 60 people for a seminar, depending obviously on the weight of what the floor is gonna be certified to take. We'll have that nice recovery area in there um, with the showers obviously across from it. And then finally, we have the uh, SNHQ main office area where everyone is going to work from, where that's Charlie and Warehouse Operations, Elliot with Marketing, and a couple of uh, new positions that are soon joining the company. So all the important decisions surrounding the company's future growth will be made in this room. <laughs> I suppose that's it, we could probably find the bar hat. So, I touch on it. as you come in, yeah. shop area. Yeah. For you to get conversions on your sales and everything, this is where it's going to be fully laid out. Um, obviously, a nice welcome area. I think a bit of you know, like branding and such as you come in, but obviously yeah. footprint-wise, I mean, it's going to be a real, real nice, decent space. Yeah, it's going to showcase kind of what we do. Everything in there, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that's it. You want people to be able to come in, yeah. and it's almost like this is kind of like you know, lure. Got to go through that bit to get to the. So yes. rooms. This is your mail changer rooms. Obviously, it wants to be finished, but you know, decent good size. Good size. Good size. Yeah. Decent and I think that's kind of it. Making sure that you've obviously size, got yeah. enough people that you can get in, get yeah. out, transitions and stuff like that. Yeah, as you go through. Undervalued bit is actually the changer rooms, and it's going to have showers and a good spec and all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Always just nursing injuries, uh, and then cafe, restaurant kind of area as well. An yeah. Bit to you're not even like in the gym pumping it out and it's already like you're already in that place you can actually go right i can chill pre or post and then you get ready to train so but then it's more of an add-on as well for people so it's like you come yeah. in it's like you don't want to just you know yeah. buy a whole pot pre-pump or pre-focus yeah. like come in yeah. get a smoothie a shake whatever to go with it and yeah. it's like okay you're, you're minimizing the amount of input that someone needs to make when they come in yeah, yeah. it's like streamlining that process yeah. as people come through main space yeah. would be the full gym, so floor and everything will come up here, that's all going to be cemented, so the entire gym itself is going to be nice and open, makes such a difference to how it feels, so it's busy and it looks yeah. aspiration yeah. enough for the general yeah. Joe public to come in and not be intimidated, but kind of see, you know, dripping purpose about everything behind it, and I guess that's the hardest part of it with what is effectively a core bodybuilder's gym. I'll do my, I'll do, be doing my bit to make sure everyone's welcome as well, because it can be done. What's well, it, egos at the door kind of thing. <laughs> So the dumbbell area obviously would be a big, big part of it. Plenty of floor equipment as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, details, everything is yeah. regimented to a certain extent. But I think as everything is changing, so like height for the row machine has been a concern going in there. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a hell of a space, right? Like, so Good. much to go in. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to, to visualise, I guess. But knowing, obviously, from your background, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. where everyone's going to sit, I think yeah. high roofs especially, yeah. Yeah, just some real sexy lighting in here, everything's going to be all black. So That's what's nice as well, yeah. Nice. So, it's going to be good, the space is good, that bit's class, everything seems to flow really nice as well. 
So we've just had the grand tour with Louis here. We've shown him what is gonna become the gym, which is gonna be the beating heart of this building. Having someone like Louis to get first-hand experience of the ins and outs of what this gym may entail has been absolutely invaluable for us. So later on today, we've got a few more athletes coming in. We've got Lauren and Simon, who's gonna be taking a little bit more of a tour from a PT and a posing perspective. And that'll give you a bit more indication as to what you can expect from this insane building we're gonna be bringing to you. So we are now in the last phases of the overall construction for this building. I've got some fresh concrete that's just being finalized behind me. And this is the last big part of the construction phase. That pushes us into the next part, which is probably gonna be the most exciting, where we see this amazing space finally start to come together. If you wanna follow us along on this journey, make sure you like and subscribe, go and follow us on Instagram, and we'll be sure to share as much of this journey as we can with you.